So, people, if you're ready, let's quit. We are the kings of campus! What's this? What's this? I will return tomorrow night with high expectations. Pray you don't disappoint me. Hi everybody and welcome to this post-Oscar recap. So guys, right here I have my list of all the Oscars, uh, all the nominations and people that won, what I, my predictions and everything. So I'm going to run down the list of the larger uh, nominations and things like that and we're going to go through it and I'm going to give my opinions who I thought was going to win and uh, who eventually did win. So let's start with um, Adapted and Original Screenplay. So for Adapted Screenplay, uh, the big short one, and for original screenplay, Spotlight one. Uh, very deserving winners, obviously. And uh, personally, I picked for adapted screenplay, The Martian. But uh, the big short, definitely deserving winner of that. And for original screenplay, I picked Inside Out. I thought that movie was very insightful into the human psyche and everything. And uh, Spotlight, again, very deserving of that original title because it it was a, it was just a fantastic film and. The story that it told was completely uh, amazing and uh, very riveting, so I'm really glad with that one. For visual effects, um, I I was kind of split between uh, Mad Max Fury Road and Star Wars The Force Awakens. However, The Martian and The Revenant also were nominated, but Ex Machina ended up winning, and I was uh, kind of surprised. That was my one real big surprise about this Oscars. Uh, personally, I think Mad Max had a very seamless uh, special effects and everything. Uh, so did Star Wars, minus the two characters, like um, the two CG characters. It seemed a little bit more CG and everything. But uh, Ex Machina, again, very good winning movie. It's funny, uh, Mad Max and Star Wars were the two big budget movies along with The Martian. And The Revenant, also a big budget movie. But the movie that ends up winning is more of the small budget movie. So that was an interesting pick for that topic. Uh, for original score, The Hateful Eight ended up winning. Uh, Bridge of Spies, Carol, The Hateful Eight, Sicario, and Force Awakens were all nominated. However, uh, I really wanted John Williams to win for The Force Awakens for obvious reasons. I, I, John Williams is great. He's, this is his 50th nomination. So the man, the man is absolutely brilliant. Um, but The Hateful Eight ended up winning. Again, good, good choice and everything. You can't go wrong with that. And uh, it was a fantastic score, again. And now, uh, going into Best Director, The Revenant won by uh, Alexander G. and Rutu. Uh, the Big Short, Mad Max Free Road, Room, and Spotlight were all nominated, very worthy nominations, all fantastic films. I really wanted George Miller to win for that one. He ended up not winning, but I think Mad Max Free Road getting six wins on a lot of the more technical aspects like production design, costume design, and other uh, things like that. Was, was fantastic that they kind of took that like high action type movie and even they nominated it for best picture so I'm really happy that they did that but uh, again directing Inaritu wins his second Oscar in a row for uh, last year with Birdman and this year with The Revenant can't go wrong with it um, a really fantastic I think the thing that got him this Oscar was how the overall tone of the picture and everything came together uh, he was the catalyst that brought the entire crew together through the moving of the shooting from, uh, I believe, up in Canada all the way back down to South America and everything. So it, it's amazing that this film was able to be made and is so seamless the way it is. Uh, his direction was very important in that. For best cinematography, uh, we have uh, Carol, The Hateful Eight, uh, Mad Max Fury Road, and The Revenant. The Revenant ended up winning. I did pick that. Uh, I kind of wanted for cinematography. Sicario was a, a another one I would have wouldn't have minded. Uh, the Hateful Eight definitely, and uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Mad Max Fury Road was just one of those movies this year that I just absolutely adored, and it was one of my favorite films of the year. But it, 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 it personally, I think The Revenant. It was that continual shot thing, and uh, the guy that ended up winning for cinematography for this also won for Gravity and Birdman. So these guys won three in a row, 
Uh, and that's that's like unheard of. So uh, congratulations to him. For animated feature film, uh, Inside Out won. No surprise there. Pixar usually Pixar slash Disney usually wants. I was really glad, glad Sean the Sheep, the Sean the Sheep movie, was nominated. Uh, it was basically a silent film with the claymation and everything. And uh, I haven't seen it, but I was really glad that it was nominated. I heard it was really good and everything. Um, to me, Inside Out was just fantastic and. It, again, got into the, the head of, so literally, got in the head of a character, and you saw their actions and everything, from the outside and the inside, and how the inside affect the outside, hence inside out the name and everything. So I thought that was just absolutely fantastic. For uh, supporting actress, Alicia Vikander won for The Danish Girl. Again, no surprise, a lot of people were uh, speculating that. Kate Winslet, uh, Rachel McAdams, Rooney Mara, and J Jennifer Jason Lee were all nominated. Very worthy nominations from top to bottom there. But Alicia Vikander, this was her year with Ex Machina and The Danish Girl. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Um, this is her first uh, nomination and win. Just she did, she did a fantastic job this year, and um, I can't wait to see what, what else she does. And for uh, Best Supporting Actor, again, I really wanted Sylvester Stallone to win. If you <laughs> saw my um, review for... Uh, Creed, I really wanted him to win, um, but Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies, again, and Christian Bale for The Big Short, Spotlight with Mark Ruffalo, and Tom Hardy for The Revenant. I mean, even uh, Mark Rylance in his speech said, how in the world do you distinguish between the, these uh, five men? And it's, you can't. It's very difficult to, and they all had fantastic performances in all those films. Uh, I honestly... I'm not mad at whoever won that. I'm not mad if any of them would have won. Uh, I really wanted Sylvester Stallone to win because that's a character, you know, that I just love seeing again and seeing it in almost a new light. Seeing him, we've seen that man as a younger man all all the way to an older man now, and we've seen that same character, and it's fantastic. And it was as it was great uh, for uh, leading actress Brie Larson in Room. Obviously, she was fantastic in that movie. Uh, great movie. Uh, also, uh, Jennifer Lawrence uh, was nominated. Kate Blanchett and a few others were nominated for this. But it's a, a fantastic, fantastic film, and uh, Brie Larson was great. And again, she her speech was very, very, uh, very well put together, very personal and everything. Like Eddie Redmayne's last year when he won for Best Actor, it was just personal to the heart. She, you could see when she went up there, she was just so moved and everything. And and she she's she's a, an amazing actress and an amazing person and I, I I really can't wait to see what she does next as well. Again, guys, here are the big two um, leading actor. Finally, uh, I can say Leonardo DiCaprio has won for best lead actor in The Revenant. This I don't necessarily say he. W I mean, yes, he won it for The Revenant, but this is a culmination of everything he's done. All six nominations that this man has. And, the, and he even mentioned in, like, the red carpet and everything, the 25 years that he has worked in the film industry. This is a culmination of a quarter of a century of work that this man has done. Um, and he and, and he, he thanked people like um, Martin Scorsese in his speech. And his, his speech was very moving. And then it eventually went to, like, a more political turn and everything. But it was a very good segue in that. And we all know that that's something he... Um, He's an activist for, with uh, climate change and everything, and I and it actually worked with what the film that he was working on, The Revenant, had to go through. They had to move locations and everything because the snow melted where they were, and uh, they couldn't film. So I understand why why he did that. And look, this if you're gonna if you're gonna have a political statement, I'm fine with you having it at the Oscars because you have that platform, uh, and I think. Uh, Leo's speech was great. You could tell it just meant something to him, and he was, and you could tell he was trying to savor the moment. Uh, everybody gave him a standing ovation, and when I, I was standing right in front of my TV watching it with uh, my roommate and uh, one of my friends, and when they said Leo, like right when they said Leo and Leonardo DiCaprio, I jumped up and down and was like, yes! I was so happy that he won, and uh, now we can't make those uh, Leonardo DiCaprio jokes anymore. We can say he's only won one Oscar, but... <laughs> It's the way it is. So guys, uh, for Best Picture, again, I'm going to run down the names here and who I wanted to win. Uh, the Big Short was nominated, so was 
British Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max Fury Road. I'm so glad that that movie was nominated. Uh, the Martian, same thing. Really happy that movie was nominated. Ridley Scott should have been nominated for director. Uh, the Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. I personally wanted The Revenant to win, or Mad Max Fury Road, or The Martian. Uh, Spotlight ended up winning, and I'm really happy that that ended up winning. The message that that movie conveys is very well put together, and that is a just fantastic story. Uh, a fantastic yet sad story at the same time, but it is an, it, the film was an ensemble film, and uh, I think Michael Keaton is good luck now. If he's in your movie, you're going to win Best Picture. He's done it for the past two years. But uh, he, it, it just... I'm I'm really happy for uh, everybody that won tonight. Everybody that uh, put their heart and soul into uh, all these films, even the short films that uh, were nominated and documentaries and things like that. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the Oscars in general. I got a uh, I, I I did my my picks and everything on here. I I got a ten out of twenty four. It's not that bad. Um, for someone who, and I picked a lot of, like, the short films and stuff like that, I just was like, uh, this name looks neat, let's pick that one. Um, I ended up winning, like, one of those categories. No, oh, two, actually. I ended up winning for two categories. Uh, the foreign language film I ended up winning, and the short animated film I ended up winning. But all the other ones I didn't, I didn't win. But, uh... Yeah, I was really surprised Mad Max Fury Road won six Oscars. I um, I was kind of surprised Star Wars didn't win a single Oscar. However, seeing BB-8, C-3PO, and R2-D2 all on stage at the same time was, was brilliant. And it was funny, the little boy that was in the room, I forget his name off the top of my head, but he, um, when they had the three droids come on and everything, he was sitting like right in front of Sofia Vergara, or right behind Sofia Vergara, and he was like standing up, and like, you could see like Sofia Vergara and like all the people like in, in front of him, or all just like, you could see like his reaction, he was like, oh, it's the droids from Star Wars, and it was just, it was, it was a pure emotional reaction and everything, uh, Daisy Ridley got up and did a, uh, a nomination and everything, she's great, um, and J.J. Abrams also did something, a, a, the director nomination and everything, and I'm so glad that, that I'm so glad that Star Wars, with also John Williams, was uh, mentioned and everything, by the droids and everything, and it was, it was fantastic. I'm really glad that, that movie got recognized, even though it didn't win, it got recognized at the Oscars, because that is, in my opinion, a very, very well put together film. Not a great film, but a very well made film, and a, and a really good, really good film. Borderline great. Um, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like... Uh your opinion, man. Again, guys, this Oscars, uh, we all know about the controversy with uh, the lack of diversity and everything. And while there, yes, there was a lack of diversity, there was n no African American uh, nominations or nominees, I should say. Uh, and it was quite interesting that they picked Chris Rock for the doing this uh, hosting before the nominations came out. And I find that very interesting. And that and he even mentioned in the opening of speech, he's like, people were like, Well, oh, Chris, you should you should boycott and everything. And he's like, Well, why? He's like and, and a lot of what a lot of people said, Kerry Washington said it on the red carpet and everything, if you're going to stand for change and you want change, don't boycott something. Go. You're only gonna make change. Change is only gonna happen by showing up. Kevin Hart said something great and was like, we're all, basically we're all in this together. Uh, change happens when a ton of people come together. Uh, and then a few, a lot of other people were like, uh, I forget who the, the person was, but he was one of the presenters, uh, an older black man, I forget his name off the top of my head. But um, he was in, an officer and gentleman, and uh, he, he mentioned how this we need to not look at things as black and white and Hispanic and all these other things. We need to look at it as we're one unified nation, uh, indivisible, and, and, you know, liberty and justice and all that stuff. And I I completely agree with him. 
uh, we need to look at it that way. It doesn't need to be black and white. And I, look, I understand there's a diversity issue and everything. And look, Alexander Gonzalez and Ritu won, has won for Best Director the past two years. And that's, that's great. You're getting, like, Hispanics in there. But I understand the want to have a diversity. And I understand why that, why that is. My thing is, the people that did boycott and everything, while they're com that's completely up to them, uh, you're kind of not helping the problem by not showing up. By those that did show up and those that were there, and look, there were a lot of jokes and things about it, and I think this was the whole theme of the, the Oscars, and Chris Rock completely embraced that. I thought his opening speech was very well put together. Um, this was the best Oscars I'd seen in a long time. And I really enjoyed it because a lot of, some, some jokes didn't work, but overall, and they did kept going back to it a few times, and it began to be a little repetitive, and it was like, okay, it's, it's starting to, to all right, the joke is getting a little old. Then they would have long breaks where Chris Rock wouldn't talk. He would just be like, and now uh, so-and-so is coming on to nominate something, and now let's introduce so-and-so. Or they would do things like that, and then it would kind of break up. The Girl Scout cookie thing was fantastic. The Minions doing the uh, animated uh, short film was 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 great. Again, like I said, the Star Wars droids coming out, that was great. I'm going to agree with one of my um, favorite YouTube personalities, or who's not on Collider Video anymore, but it used to be uh, John Campia, and he used to say that the songs, the original songs. Well, I like the category and everything, and I picked the category correct with Sam Smith. The songs, they just they, they make the thing they make the whole Oscars drag. Personally the Oscars is way too long. Way too long. It's like three and a half hours. And it ended at literally like twelve o'clock midnight, uh, Eastern time. And I'm like I, I, I and look, I mean for for a college student like me, I got a nine o'clock class in the morning. I mean, I wanna get some sleep. So it's like I'm I'm still gonna get like seven hours of sleep here, but it's like Come on, I mean, at, at some point, it was like after, once they got to the three acting, the, the, the I'm sorry, the, uh, the two acting awards, uh, lead actor and lead actress, and, um, and uh, best picture, it was like one nomination, end. It was like yeah, one nomination, commercial break, one nomination, commercial break, and it was like, oh, and the commercial breaks were like, uh, they were like a minute and a half long. I mean, they were quick. And... But the pacing of the show itself was really well put together, but near the end it just started to drag, and I'm like, and now they were just like pushing it to, to get to 12, and I'm like, can we, can we hurry up here? Can we hurry up? And I was texting my sister and my mom on a group chat and everything, and we were just like, can we hurry up, please? Like, I'm, and by the time we got to Leo's uh, nomination and, and win, I was like, I was kind of like, thank you, we're almost done. Um, I was really happy, again, I'm really happy Leo won. It's about... It's about damn time. It's about damn time that he won. Um, six nominations, and finally he wins for a fantastic movie and everything. And I'm really glad that he won. Uh, I'm really glad for everybody that won. The only one I'm kind of like, oh. Like, there's two I'm kind of like, oh, they didn't win. John Williams didn't win for Star Wars, uh, Star Wars score, and Sylvester Stallone didn't win for Rocky, or, I'm sorry, as Rocky for Creed. But I can't complain with the ones that did win. Uh, Mark Rylance and The Hateful Eight score because they also were deserving of it. Uh, this is the best Oscars I have seen in a long time. Uh, from everybody who was a part of it, from even just the way the production of the Oscars was helmed. It was helmed really well. They When they did the uh, original screenplay and adapted screenplay, they had them like recite part of the scripts and the script like showed up on screen while they were showing the clip. I thought that was amazing and just completely different. Uh, overall, th this Oscar is not going to grade it or anything. For what they had to tackle with the diversity issue and everything, I think they did a fantastic job. Uh, th this was just a really fun Oscars. Again, guys, uh, thank you for watching this very long video. Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm the College Critic. You can like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out some of my other videos that should be coming soon. Uh, like my Captain America, Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man reviews all throughout the next month. Again, guys, I'm Andrew, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.